Hey guys, Tough Thumbs back again for a second video. Figure I give you two. Um, so last night uh, I'm laying in bed watching a movie, and I get a text message from uh, Alexander E. Dietz. Hey guys, hey man, check it out on Blade HQ, and I'm like, all right, cool. So I go on there, and and there's uh, the new uh, Bokers by Ian Zanzo. So I bought both of them. The whale and the uh, albatross, which looks freaking sweet. I don't know about the whale, it looks kind of cool, but uh, the albatross looks fucking sweet as hell. And uh, definitely going to be doing a review and look for Alex's review as well. Hopefully I'll beat him to it, because nobody should sub that guy. Seriously, he's a jerk. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. You guys should definitely check out his channel. But uh, today, or after that last video, I just had too much stuff. To squeeze into one to like throw this one at the end so I just wanted to make a whole video just for this specific knife uh, because it's just freaking sweet it's the first time I've done a titanium backspacer um, I just kind of wanted to feature it in its own little video so I mean the backspacer really was not hard at all um, I'm not gonna be doing them uh, you know if anybody's just like hey let me get a backspacer I'm not you know I'm probably gonna turn it down at the moment because it was difficult to do but I did uh, agree to do this for for a knife. Uh, I got the select fire basically for this uh, job, pretty much. Um, it was a pretty major job here. So, and I don't know if uh, if uh, what what's up with Emerson if they're taking tips from McDonald's and super si supersizing like all their knives or something, or if they've been around a while for like like that. But I, I never really took notice. But uh, yeah, it seems like I got like super size versions of every knife. Yeah, I never noticed them before. Sorry, I just want this to be pristine. Alright, so you got the Emerson Super Duper Commander with that massive recurve ugh, uh, serrated. Cool. Uh, I'm not a big fan of recurves, guys, just because of the sharpening aspect of it. Uh, but I love the grind lines on this thing, even though you touch it and it looks like it's scratched. But it's definitely not scratched at all. And what we got here is the carbon fiber, reptilian pattern, of course. What else would you pick? Mirror polish clip, just for that added bling there. Just really shiny. See how cold it is, it's a little foggy. I polished that up, it's like chrome rims on it. It's very, very shiny. Definitely going to be uh, showing this one off in public and be glinting all day long. So, now the best part about this guy is the titanium, crazy titanium, don't even know where I'm going with this one, backspacer. Uh, there is some touch-ups I have to do on it. I did scratch that little guy there. Uh, just saying in a I was trying to give it a more rustic look, but I ended up giving it a little bit more of a messed up look. But you see the small, small jimping here, beveled. I did this by hand. I just, yeah, I couldn't do like what I do here. I've been having trouble doing that lately with titanium. It's very difficult, so I use like a small like metal cutting tool. I just cut like little cuts in there, and uh, it was wor it's working really well. And then I did these these uh, kind of like pinstripes down the whole scale, and if you look inside, they're all cutting down down the center too to allow the knife to lay really you know, far in there. There's a big gash in the center of it, but uh, top I don't know what's going on. It looks kind of cool, just kind of filling in spaces with some interesting designs. It's all greasy though. You have to rebevel that one edge there. And right here. But you know what? Looks good enough to show. This thing is absolutely massive. Just gorgeous as hell. I mean, you know, have you guys seen the reptilian carbon fiber a lot, but this one definitely uh definitely one of the sickest knives I've pimped in a very long time. I love it. And uh that's anodizing. Kinda did a light anodize with some lighter like Kept it like not too 
too dark. You know, I anodized it, or I just torched it for like a good minute or two, just enough to get it red. And uh, this guy needs to be tightened. They have a mind of their own, I swear. Anyway, yep, perfectly centered. Just nice, smooth, no blade play. Massive Emerson. So anyway, guys, uh, that's all I got for you. I'm just going to show you the knife some more. And then uh, answer the phone. Oh, I got to go, guys. I'm getting a phone call. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Peace.